This is a Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry, and today we're going to talk about port-based mirror and monitor. In upcoming episodes, we will talk about ACL-based mirror and monitor, uh, to be very specific about your capture, and ER span for capturing on a remote device. Uh, but for this one, we're talking about port-based. So the uh, only confusing part about mirror and monitor is what those ports do. So the mirror port is the destination, so it's where you're going to plug in your sniffer or filter or whatever the case, um, and your monitor port is your source port or where you're monitoring the traffic from. So I monitor the traffic from my monitor ports or I capture, and then I send it to my mirror port, which is my sniffer port. So in order to configure that, we'll go into global configuration mode. So your mirror is created right here in global configuration. So one slash one slash two. So this is my mirror um, configured globally. Depending on the hardware, in some cases, you can have more than one mirror port and send different monitors to different mirrors. Uh, in this case, on this ICX that I'm on, I can only have one mirror. So check your manual for, for port groups and uh, how many mirrors you can have. Um, but in this case, we've set up our one mirror. And then we need to go to the interfaces themselves, interface E, one slash one slash three, and we set up our monitor. So monitor E, uh, we're going to specify the mirror, so which mirror we're sending it to. Now, in this case, we only have one mirror, but again, depending on the hardware, you may have more than one. And then lastly, you can choose both inbound and outbound traffic, inbound only or outbound only to be sent to that mirror from this port. Um, so you can have, there's no limit to the number of inbound ports you can send to a mirror, uh, but there's only eight egress ports you can send to a mirror. So be weary of that, uh, but otherwise this is pretty straightforward. So in this case, we'll say both inbound and outbound. Uh, we could do a block of ports. So in uh, E one slash one slash four to one slash one slash 24 monitor e one slash one slash two uh we'll say inbound right as i said there's no limit to the number of inbound ports uh, and then lastly we'll set up a block outbound one slash one uh, two slash one to one slash two slash four let's say monitor e uh, one slash one slash two outbound so uh, we can do a show mirror and in the show mirror output, we see that our mirror is one slash one slash two, input monitoring, right? One slash one slash three to one slash one slash 24, output monitoring one slash one slash three uh, and one slash two slash one to one slash two slash four. Uh, so we've got multiple ports in different directions sent to that same mirror, so, or your, your sniffer. Um, and then we can look at the interfaces themselves. So one slash one slash three, for example, it's going to show me mirror is disabled, monitor is enabled, input and outbound. Um, four, uh, mirror is disabled, monitor enabled, input only. Uh, and then lastly, we'll have a look at the mirror port itself. So mirror is enabled, monitor is disabled. Obviously the same port can't be mirror and monitor, else it would loop its traffic back to itself. Uh, but that it's as easy as that. So all of those monitor ports are now gonna forward all of their traffic to that mirror, and the mirror is going to capture it and do whatever is required with it. So thanks for joining, take care.